Don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment on this video saying I subscribed. Let's get into it. The Indian Air Force had issued a request for information seeking proposals from interested manufacturers for the supply of 110 fighter jets in a deal worth $15 billion, which will be manufactured locally under the Make in India scheme. According to the request for information, the global manufacturers have to respond with their offers by July 6, along with other information like transfer of technology, along with product information of the aircraft on the offer. With the deadline approaching fast, it is likely that the aircraft manufacturers like Sweden's Saab Group, Lockheed Martin, Boeing, Eurofighter, Russian MiG Corporation, and French Dassault Aviation will be back with their offers to compete at one of the biggest combat aircraft deal in recent years. The Indian Air Force and Hindustan Aeronautics Limited have seemed to have arrived at a decision on the Tejas trainer jets. As per the original agreement, four trainer jets were part of the block, and another four from the final operational clearance production line. This production plan seems to have now been tweaked, as the Indian Air Force doesn't want two types of trainer jets in its fleet, and it wants all the trainer jets fitted with the air-to-air -air refueling probe. In the next version of 83 aircraft which are to be built as per the Mark 1A standards, there will be 10 trainers. The RDO has started the work to carry out structural improvements on the indigenous Arjun Mark II, which after incorporating 84 improvements, has gained over 6 tons over the Mark I version. The RDO will develop a reconfigured hull with new improved armor material, which will allow it to lose 3 tons in total weight. Experts are already questioning, what advantage will the new 65.5 tons Mark II will bring in its area of operations, over the 68.6 tons Mark II. According to DRDO's annual report for 2017, two prototypes of 180 horsepower diesel turboprop engine were developed in 2017, and were tested for the first time in 2017. Both the prototypes have accumulated 30 hours of full performance test at the Combat Vehicles Research and Development Establishment in Chennai. The engine will replace the Saturn 36 turboprop engines procured from Russia to power the Rustam 2 unmanned aerial vehicle. The US had made it clear that defense ties between India and the US could be impacted if India goes ahead with the purchase of S-400 systems, but despite this development, India has decided to go ahead with the S-400 deal. The S-400 has a longer range than the Patriot, and after an upgrade that is expected at the end of 2018, will stretch the range of S-400 system to 400 kilometers. The S-400 is also cheaper than the Patriot, and it has a more powerful radar, and is comparatively much faster. While both systems are mounted on trucks, the S-400 can be readied in 5 minutes, compared with 1 hour time required for a Patriot battery. Oh,